All right. Welcome back, everybody. As I mentioned in the last video for Epic Finance, I'm very excited about this project. And it's part of my new current experiment. You know, small scale, of course, because, you know, never ape until just any one project, right? So you don't lose all your money when you do screw up. Like I did, almost, essentially. Uh, with Metaverse Pro. This uh, this project is quite interesting. Uh, this was actually suggested to me a couple of hours ago now in the Elite Discord. I, I looked at it. And just, just very obviously to me, like I mean, I immediately knew I had to buy, I had to, because I had just put in my money into Vinyl Finance so that I could get some income from that to just keep buying up Poseidon tokens. Then he suggested this, but I immediately on LP took a small loss of like, I don't know, half half a phantom or something, and I put the money in here. In fact, I closed another tomb fourth position that's been underperforming, and then put it into this. So I'm gonna manually work this project. So this is called pegmaker.io, and what I really like about this, aside from the fact that it's basically using smart APR system, uh, 1.0, 1.5, I guess it should be 1.0 or 1.5. Uh, this thing is doing really well. Like what what I like about it is this is essentially printer printer financial, all right. Because it's still technically pegged the phantom, but it's only pegged to 10% of a phantom, 0 0.1. So essentially, in theory, this should always be printing tokens, their, their boardroom, right? That's why the share price is so high. Now, I personally did not do the share pool, as you already know. Because, again, you know, I think we'll, as we might see here. Yeah, look. Let's say I bought at like a thousand or eight hundred, right? Now, now this clown is, went as low as like a hundred dollars, right? One hundred and eight dollars. That's just way too much of a price swing, right? And they recently just reached peg. Right? It went, it bottomed out at like a really low amount, and then it four xed, right? At least according to the elite Discord. Oh yeah, so that's why there's actually no bond debt. Yeah, so there was never any debt because. Yeah, because uh, the way they set this up is on their homepage, it tells you as if it's one-to-one -one paying to Phantom, but it really, uh, you don't only have to worry when it reaches below 10% of a Phantom. Then that's when it's actually below pay. And they even explain it here on the TWAP that, you know, this thing will keep printing as long as the TWAP or the peg is above 0 0.101, basically 10% of a Phantom. All right, if I'm trying to highlight this, uh, I can I can select it because it always gets cut off in the browser. It says the TWAP is 0 0.9214. So it's doing very, very well. So the only thing, the only downside of this project really is, is this. There, the inflation is, this is why it's not 2.0, but kind of close, right? Because maybe in a way it somewhat doesn't matter as much because it's very low low peg threshold right 0 0.1 phantom if this was one phantom then this project would have a lot more problems but whoever whoever designed this was smart enough to make it basically like printer financial so because you because you always need to make sure the shares are worth something and they're only worth something if it's printing right the boardroom so you can look at the details of this if you want i'm not good I guess, I mean, there's no yellow, so I guess I'll link to this, uh, the white paper, right? You know, it can't hurt. But basically, you could see the, okay, so they're distributing 60,000 tokens of shares, peg shares, over 10 months. And obviously, they're using smart APR, right? So they heavily, they heavily or weighted a healthy amount of rewards to the base peg token pair, of course, right? Peg FTM which is what I'm in. And then I, at first I tried doing the peg single stake because it was paying, you know, 166%. This is actually not correct. It's actually much lower. So that's why I'm not going to include that. You can try it for yourself. Maybe I might be wrong, but I observed it myself. I was not getting anywhere near 166. I was actually getting less than what, I, what I'm getting now in the actual you know, base peg token LP. This is what I'm in, right? I put in $640 into this. It's printing a nice amount of cash. 
it's been I guess an hour or an hour and a half <laughs> hour an hour and a half it is now worth six hundred fifteen dollars so it's gone down a little bit but I have nine dollars and twenty nine cents of peg sh peg shares already All right, I, have, I haven't cashed it out yet I probably actually should because fees are so low and right now the price action on peg and peg shares is kind of insane right now so you know because again look it's just came it used to be worth 53 cents the base like 50 well it was as low as 45 45.48 cents right the, the base for, for peg tokens so right now there's gonna be a lot of profit taking as you can kind of see it over here so you know blah 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 and it's the same thing with the peg share so it's kind of volatile right now but of course you know whatever you know just do whatever Man, that's insane. I already have almost $10. Wow. This is great. I'm going to have so many Poseidon tokens and about to take off. I love this. I love this. I, I'm back. I'm about to come back, you know, after getting fucked in the ass, you know, with aping in the Metaverse Pro. I'm so... I'm so it, it's so nice. It's so nice. I didn't ask anybody for help, but I asked Jesus and God to do it. All right. And thank God, man. Thank God. Oh, it's gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be pretty nice. Anyway, I don't remember what I was rambling about, but aside from the inflation schedule, right? You know, not I'm not too thrilled about it, but I'm definitely more than happy to tolerate it because so far it's doing very well. And again, I mean, five percent. How does how does this actually print? Five percent of what? I never really understood. I think. Peg supply. So I think it's just the percentage of the circulating supply, right? Or maybe the total supply, but I think it might be circulating supply. I don't know. I guess if I really cared that much, I would. Oh, actually, I could care because the epoch is here 40,971. Okay, well, maybe by the end of this video, this thing will. Someone will kick the printer here and it'll actually like fire off the, the, the thing here. All right, so anyway. This is the this is why I'm so excited. All right, so 33.65 percent. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna round this up to 34 percent. And you can take note of the TVL here. The peg shares is paying you know slightly above 36 and a half percent, and the TVL is actually pretty similar. So that's actually kind of surprising, actually. Uh, but that's okay because peg shares right now are worth like a crazy stupid amount of money. So that might be uh, that might be what's going on here. All right, uh, and we could see here, yeah, because I, I think this is actually fairly accurate. Uh, this reward distribution, it could be it could be different though, right? It could be different. But for now, I'm gonna actually take their word for it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because the APR is slightly higher and the TVL is slightly lower. Okay, that makes sense. And then, of course, you got the amount of money that the single stake is, uh, you know, whatever. So, works for me. Works for me. All right, works for me. So, what did I say? 34 to 36% APR. Actually, this just went up. So, if you're going to do the boardroom, you're definitely going to be printing like a madman, too. So how long are you stuck in here for? Uh, you're stuck in here for 36 hours, and of course you got the standard. You got to wait 12 hours on your claims. So, and did they print yet? They have not printed yet. I'm really curious to see this, but I don't want to drag out this video too long. All right, so we kind of did a little bit of the price analysis here. All right, if we, oh my God, this is 15 minutes. Give me the one hour. Give me the one hour. Zoomed in too much. Okay, so this is obviously a pretty new project, of course, right? But according to XYZ, they are fully renounced. Well, not fully renounced, but they're KYC'd and renounced. So good enough for me. Uh, was I looking at the wrong chart? I believe I was looking at it. Okay, so let me just set that to one hour as well. All right, so this thing has been kind of like a literally all over the place, right? You know, as I said, you know, it went as low as 45.48 cents. And it's just like up and down like crazy. So it had a genesis, so I had the standard dump, then it bottoms out, right? And then now it's just profit taking and it should consolidate, stabilize and slowly go up over time. That would be the more ideal situation. Now, because this person was smart enough to set the 
threshold for peg so low, this thing is always printing cash, right? It's always printing money. So that means the shares will always be valuable and printing money. And then the, it's a positive feedback loop instead of the standard negative feedback loop. So very, very happy about this. The, the, the money that's just being printed from this for now is just really, really good. So right now, I think the share price should be okay. Of course, it's still very large risk, right? At least to me personally, it's it, like this is a little too much, right? But with that being said, you know, it bottomed out at like basically $100, right? And then it went up a bit, then profit taking consolidate. Now it's dipping a bit. So, because it went as high as, yeah, this will be easier. This went as high as $500. So it goes from 100 to 500. Look at this giant green candle. Yeah, jolly green giant. So we're looking at a 50% correction from the $500 high. So this is actually quite reasonable. This is actually very reasonable because remember, nothing goes straight up or straight down. You have to always give back, right? Like Greg Manor, you know, says, you, the markets always have to give back, right? Because if it doesn't, then what happens is the price doesn't ever go back, doesn't go up, right? And then eventually have to crash or worse, the, the, the correction that does eventually come and it will, will be such more severe, right? So I'd rather just get it over with and just have like, you know, standard volatility, which is what we're seeing here. So it's actually looking pretty, pretty simple. I can't imagine any of you going going into the peg share FTM because that's just crazy, especially because the APRs are basically the same, all right? If this would ever show up, all right? 30, 36, 37%. It was basically 30. Well, now it's above 34%. All right. And remember, you know, this thing is always about maintaining the peg. Now they're, now they're creating a new, now what I also like about it is this is not out yet, but Turbo is a special innovative operation designed to help other projects achieve peg with a special function by buy to stake. With Turbo, struggling protocols will achieve peg and benefit from our platform by staking their single asset token through three weeks lock and earn turbo token, more info soon. So if this actually turns out to be a really big project, right, and gets on Yule Wolf, et cetera, oh man, I don't know what I would do, right? Uh, but with that being said, uh, the reason why I also like this is because once, if this turbo thing that they have where they help other projects actually works, this, this is exactly what I like. Right, people helping each other out, and because everyone's helping each other out, everyone's gonna find out about you know Peg Maker, right? Yeah, you know, it's a really nice name. They have a pretty good URL, PegMaker.io. So you get the synergy of combining all your other communities in in the Phantom space, of course, and then everybody's gonna like join, join like help each other out. I really like that. It's very synergist, synergistic, and, and there's a lot of harmony. So and on top of that. If they have, like, for example, you know, if partial finance is in trouble right now, right, they could just link up with these guys and then just get themselves back up the peg, all right? So I really like this. I really like it. I like their mission. I like the fact that it's paying a retardedly strong amount of effing money, all right? Money, money is being made hand over fist, right? You know, I used to think it was ham, as in the sandwich, ham over fist, but it's like, oh, they're saying hand, <laughs> right? As I think that's what it, that makes more sense, right? It, is that right? Hand over, make money hand or ham over fist. Yeah, it's making money hand over fist. Yeah, because it's like this. Oh, okay. That's, that's what I interpret it as. But either way, uh, now that you Pepega degenerates, right, you know, now have a little bit of the secret sauce of this project, you know, now the APR is probably going to go down because everyone in my community is going to go into this, right? But, uh, all right, but, I mean, I, I pretty much said everything that needs to be said. I'm not going to wait around for the boardroom to print, but obviously I'll just take their word that it's going to print 5% of something, right? But, you know, uh, what I'm personally going to do, what I'm personally currently doing is I'm not compounding this. Instead, I'm just going to pull out profits constantly. And then immediately that money will be spent right into buying Poseidon tokens. 
Right now, I am buying Poseidon tokens like a madman right now, right? Because that thing is so overly, extremely oversold that it's actually cheap. Basically, I know the project is legitimate, and obviously, we're in the elite. I'm in the elite Discord, right? So I already know what who happens to be running Poseidon Black too. So because he runs the elite Discord too. So I already it's I basically know what's going to happen. So and now that I see Poseidon finally going up slowly because you know the Federal Reserve decision and all that stuff, and I know what's going to happen overall in the markets, right? It's going to keep going up. Until the Federal Reserve decides to tank the markets, right? So far, they're not uh, make, showing any indicators of that. All right, and the debt markets look very, very stable, right? Settling above 2% and markets are going higher. In fact, it's actually going a little bit lower. So right now, it's our time to shine, right? So make as much money as you can. That's what I'm doing. So right now, my personal play is create as much cash flow to buy Poseidon token. Then if I'm in an emergency, like I don't have enough money to, you know, put in my bank account for paying bills, you know, I can, I can, I can divert the money that would have gone to Poseidon, unfortunately, and then just turn that into, you know, stable coins or Binance coin and then ship that off eventually to my bank account. But yeah. Anyway, you know, I'm going to be a little sad to see my income go down a little bit, but that's why I need all of you to help grow this channel so we can help everybody out, right? Because ultimately we all make money if we, you know, work together and not be greedy, selfish assholes, right? Because, you know, I like to joke a little bit about it, but I actually don't like greedy, selfish assholes, right? Because what happens is everybody loses, right? I've been in so many of those in all my whole life. I don't want to deal with it ever again. And again, helping this project out, if they can pull this off, because I don't know what this turbo thing is, but if they can pull this off, this is just so good. Like everybody makes money, it helps the ecosystem, right? And more importantly, I just realized, this is on Phantom. We seriously need something like, like where people can actually work together and make it a better ecosystem, right? Because now that the toxic super predator uh, F words are leaving Phantom, or at least a couple of them are, right? That's a really good opportunity for the rest of us to, you know, make Phantom like an actual good blockchain, right? Where, where you know, we don't have so many stupid assholes on, uh, on it, right? So, and it's been doing pretty well recently, right? Now that, you know, Andre is gone, yeah, I'm actually liking it. I'm actually really liking it. So, you know, and Phantom is obviously going to battle back, right? Phantom Foundation hasn't... Uh, You know, they obviously haven't, you know, abandoned anything, right? Four years, his wife has a 22 X and verified contract for the last year. DDDD, -D -D -D, either very broad of account, da -da 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 -da, less than a week, a D5 week of the year, a bailing of USDB investment ops, or two needs, early access, new pro. Okay, great. Uh, launching March 25th. Oh, great. So in six days, the Phantom fees are going to be sh dog shit, right? Ugh. God. Well, that's six days that you and I can enjoy this. How much engagement is this? Uh, we are proud of this DGen Finance, right? No, these are someone else, I guess. Uh, NFT gaming project, blah, blah, blah. Okay, a lot of people join. Yeah. So, yeah, so see, look, look at this. Look at how many people, like, literally, I'm not even going to try to calculate this. In the span of one year, Phantom has jumped, like, exponentially. This is, like, a thousand X. Actually, it's actually pretty close to that. It's actually, like, 750 X of unique addresses. I wasn't in Phantom until recently, a few months ago, so I'm, I'm somewhere up here. <laughs> All right. Well, I still want them to really give more updates on like working on the Phantom blockchain because you know the the problems are still there, right? So it's only gonna be a matter of time before the Phantom network fees become shit again. But for now, I'm just gonna try to enjoy it. All right, FTM gas tracker. Yeah, I'm gonna try to enjoy it. You know, it's doing really well. All right, and let me see. Are you Solid X? Yeah, you're probably Solid X, right? Yeah. All right, fine, whatever. At least they're at least they're not screwing up the gas fees. So anyway, check out uh, Pegmaker. I really like this project a lot. Uh, 
Mm, excuse me, choked on saliva. Uh, <coughs> obviously, if this goes on Yield Wolf, it's immediately going to Yield Wolf without hesitation. But, you know, I really like this project. I, I mean, I, I know I said it like 50 million times. I'm in PEG FTM LP. I put 640, 640 bucks in there. You know, and then, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, we'll see how it goes. But because it's a little uh, price action, still a little risky and vo price volatile, even if it wasn't that, uh, even if it wasn't, you know, volatile, I would still be pulling out all my money all the time anyway, because my real money is going to come from Poseidon eventually 10xing and even 100xing, because it's so freaking like, that thing is like four decimal places before you reach the first non-zero number. All right, that that's how that's how badly beaten up uh, Poseidon has been. So it's kind of like basically getting in on like the whitelist of like a brand new like Titano four. Uh, that that's exactly what how I see it. So it's like ten, my ten dollars will actually like a hundred x right. So ten dollars times a hundred is one thousand dollars. What do you think happens if I put in like a hundred bucks? If I could reach a thousand dollars at this price, I doubt it because. The science is already going back up slowly, but consistently. That thousand becomes a hundred grand. And now it's paying me, you know, Titano rewards, right? Because it's a hundred hundred percent a year, right? No, oh, 110%. But basically it's basically the same thing as Titano. So yeah, look, it's already at sub seven sub seven cents already. Yeah, Poseidon's up 5.47. Titano's already trying to push 20 cents. Yeah, this thing is just popping. Wow, Phantom is at $1.32. Oh, well, hell yeah, man. All right. All right. Well, there's not much more to say, so I don't want to keep rambling on. I will see you all, I think, tomorrow. Uh, I'll definitely do Ring Fi tomorrow unless I... Well, I really need a break, so maybe I'll just do Ring Fi tomorrow and then Monday... I'll do, uh, what was the name of that thing? Repath.finance, which is a tomb fork on Metis. So I want to make sure that they don't immediately rug pull, right? So, because their, their genesis is tomorrow. So I'll probably just do a, a genesis pull video on Monday. And then I'll, re, I'll add it, I'll re-add it to the queue and just, you know, talk about when the LP pools go live. Unless the LP pools go live at the same time as the genesis pool. That would be convenient for me. And yeah, look at that, All right? Pay tokens are already going back up. It's $1.73, so. One last refresh. Did it print tokens yet? It still hasn't printed tokens yet. But again, I assume it's gonna be 5%, like the documentation says, so. All right. I actually like it when it does not, when the boardroom does not print, because that means uh, it doesn't it doesn't cause the price pressure on the peg token, but base peg token, but whatever. All right, I will see you all tomorrow for Ring Financial because I haven't heard of the, anything about a rug pull yet. So and they should have been, should have been live for about a week, maybe eight days. So for all you Titano Fork fanatics, specifically Seifu Forks, that's really what it is. You know, you get wet your teeth with that. I don't like Seifu Forks simply because I just don't like. I just don't like. It's it's just way too much. I know it's going to be a year out, but I just don't like that. I want something more consistent, like Libero, Caesar, Poseidon, uh, if it wasn't getting so oversold, due to the Air Ocean project, which I've always said was a stupid idea. Yeah. Now I see, now, now I'm proven right again. Uh, Titano, of course. And Sphere Finance. So if I could have like another Sphere Finance or another Caesar, right, and I see that in Poseidon, Man, I'm gonna make so much money. It's gonna make so much money. All right, I'm gonna make sure I grow up this grow this YouTube channel. We're gonna have a, we're actually gonna have Johnson Con, or I'll have my own little cryptocurrency convention. I'm gonna program it right after AFPAC, so we can counter signal and counter program CPAC, right? Which I like to call C crap, right? It's a yeah, if you don't know what CPAC is, is this shitty uh, right wing convention that's held every year. And it's all full of fake conservatives and, you know, foreign assholes that are who pretend to be for America, but are really just here to just steal from everybody. So, you know, we're real scum of the earth. So, the, the more that we can destroy the actual right wing of America, like the political party that is, not the people, but the party, you know, I, I definitely want to do my part so that, like, you know, we can make the world a better place, right? Because I've told you before, I'm a right wing conservative, but I really despise 
my side, right? But it's for that's because they're dishonest, right? We know, I don't like dishonest people. Left wing people have the exact same problem, but they're not standing up. They're not going to do shit, right? They're too scared, which makes sense. So it's like someone's got to do something, right? So that's what I do. So you know, and all of you can come to the Johnson Gun. You know, I'll price the tickets pretty cheap, but that's a while away. You know, like, even if I had a hundred thousand subscribers, I don't even know if like. I guess maybe like 50 people might come, so it's like, eh, that's not a lot. All right, we'll worry about it then. Anyway, check out Pig Maker. Uh, I'm very happy about it. I've ta Like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. Spread the channel uh, around, right? Uh, one thing I might... Oh, yeah, I forgot to do this, but one thing that I would appreciate, right, is people going to the Discord and sharing my video once it goes live to, you know, help promote the project too, so... Anyway... Uh, I'm so hungry, but I can't eat just yet. So check it out. I'll see you all tomorrow. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Thanks.